If you're going out today, you need to bundle up. What you felt yesterday is what you're going to feel today. Uh, this is brutally cold temperatures. In fact, dangerously cold temperatures. I've been telling you that you can get frostbite in 30 minutes when you have a wind chill in Steinway, Queens at 13, 10 in Concourse, the Bronx, Passaic, New Jersey at 11, 8 in Yonkers, Westchester with winds out of the northwest. All day today, we're going to feel brutally cold. So don't expose your skin. If you start to feel that on your forehead or your ears, any tingling, that means frostbite's trying to tell you you need to get inside and warm up. Live radar, we would have snow today if we had any moisture. We don't have any moisture. We just have Arctic air to the north of us with high pressure, clockwise rotation. It brings down that Arctic air on top of us, and that's what's happening today. No precipitation today. Story number two, as Hazel likes to say, is ping pong temperatures. So here we go, and here's the reason for it. When you have cold air advection, that essentially means that you have high pressure to the north and it transports that Arctic air, as I just said, over Canada, over us. Our average temperature is 55 degrees. This takes our temperature down some 20 degrees below our average high. We did that yesterday. The opposite of that is what we call warm air advection or a southwest wind. The warmth down in the south in the Gulf of Mexico over towards uh, Miami up through Orlando where we have felt relatives and friends in Florida is in the mid to upper 70s if not low 80s now. We transport that towards us and we're going to do that as quickly as Thursday. Not today though. Winds are out of the northwest and they're going to be howling between 15 to 25. So we have strong winds and wind chills in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, 29, Ozone Park, Queens, 27, Edgewater, New Jersey, upper 20s, Westchester in the mid 20s, Copeg, Long Island, 25. That's what it feels like at 3 p.m. today. Now I'm going to give you the warmest day I can give you. I'm transporting that warmth from the Gulf of Mexico with these strong southwest winds. See, the winds are at 20, 30 miles an hour. If that occurs, I think the temperatures will get up above where the computer models say they'll be. It says that we'll only be around 68 degrees. I disagree with the model. I believe we can get up to 75 without a problem if we have winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour Thursday afternoon. We just need to get those winds going. 28 today, this afternoon, it's going to feel brutally cold. And then Wednesday, 50 late in the afternoon. That warm air advection is with us on Thursday. And you like that, Alex, when we say warm air advection, because now we're talking about temperatures almost 60 degrees warmer than it feels right now by Thursday.